Hello Clash fans, Trample Damage coming at you today with the easiest methodology on the internet to beat the Goblin Queen Challenge. So I, at least I believe that's a true statement, if you find an easier one, comment down below and let me know, I'm curious to hear about it. But the Gold Pass is of course upon us, and much like some of our recent time, the first prize is the Goblin Queen skin, which looks really cool, I'm kind of fascinated by it, uh, you can see where we're going with this theme here, and if you get all the way to the end, you will get all the way to the end. The Books of Clash statue and a book of building. I actually thought there was something more exciting at the end. Maybe I'm remembering something else I'm not supposed to be talking about. So we'll hold off on that for now. Uh, if you do decide to get the gold pass, of course, creator code trample. I appreciate the support. Something super exciting to do. And with that, we will jump into the attack and show you how to get the easiest three stars on the internet. Uh, if you do like the video, of course, comment down below, tell me you love me, and subscribe, and check me out on TikTok, and, and Instagram, and Twitter, and oh, check out the new scenery! There's, I don't know if, if other people have already released this, I think we're allowed to talk about it. We're a cool new literature about Clash of Clans. I need to double check my schedule and see when that's coming out, but I love the scenery. I think that the scenery is super cool. Make sure to check it out. Oh, and check out my new podcast. I will tell you more about it later, but it is called Inside Clash with Trample Damage. We're going to start out with a super wall breaker over here on this side because there are no spring traps. And then once the wall is open, we'll put a sneaky goblin to trigger all of the invisibility spell towers. We will then move down here and use some minions to trigger the whirlwind of tornado traps here. Pop open this wall with a wall breaker, use a few balloons to trigger some traps, and then wreck the town hall with the other five sneaky goblins before the rest of the attack starts and it's super easy i know it sounds complicated it's not it's actually really easy we're gonna put the queen with her healers the siege barracks and then spam everything else over here that's pretty much it so let's jump in super wall oh put your warden in ground mode the first time i tried recording this i had him in flight mode and when i put him over here he exploded because all of the the air bombs got him king and warden and oh my warden was in air mode that's really sad. So make sure your warden is in ground mode. So we'll go super wall breaker. No problem. He'll get in there. As soon as that wall is breached, we will trigger all of those invisibility spell towers. And there goes the town hall. Now we'll come down here with three minions and you can trigger pretty much all those tornado traps. Then we'll grab a super wall breaker and put it right here. And we will get two balloons, one of which to trigger all of those traps and one to trigger those traps. So the, the groundwork has all been done at this point, and then we will send in five sneaky goblins. You can move quicker through this if you want to, but we should have about 30 seconds left over by the time we're done. Town Hall explodes. We have Clan Castle troops, but we'll deal with them. We're gonna go Queen with five healers and the Siege Barracks. That's it. When the Super Dragon gets closer, we will put the Poison Spell, and we will put the Rage on the queen you don't actually have to use the rage there but it makes the attack go a little bit quicker and it gives me something to do other than simply staring at the archer queen shooting at stuff you'll see the pekka tanking over here and the wizards will take out that eagle artillery when this eagle and the scatter shot go down we will use the second rage spell on the archer queen and then move on to what is really the last stage of this attack so builder's gonna try and fix things here comes the golem and eagle is down so we'll go ahead and deploy the rage spell and we'll check back with the queen in a few. So we'll go king, warden, and we're going to spam all the hog riders along. Whoops, I triggered the king's ability. You don't have to trigger the king's ability. With the warden in there, part of the fun of this attack was going to be not triggering the king's ability. Whatever. We triggered the king's ability by mistake. You can see the archer queen, she's doing fine. When the hogs get into this compartment here, we use the first heal spell to protect them. And then as they start to move out of this compartment, we will trigger the Grand Warden's Eternal Tome that will keep the heroes occupied for quite a while. We are going to save the heal spell for when this bomb tower goes down, which usually takes a minute because there are a bunch of bomb towers over here and a bunch of invisibility spells. We'll go ahead and put the heal spell down here. The royal champion is doing her thing. We still have one balloon and a bunch of minions and four free spells and the champion's ability and the queen's ability. It's actually, it looks way cooler when you swag all the hero abilities except for the Grand Warden, but I accidentally <laughs> triggered the Barbarian King. You can see this attack is no problem. There's nothing else that can deal damage. Those spell towers are actually just kind of funny because sometimes you'll do it where the invisibility spell tower is like one of the last things and it triggers and then your troops just kind of stand around waiting for stuff to happen. But you do not actually need to trigger the king's ability for this. 
uh, they'll trigger automatically. We've got a balloon. We've got, you know, 20 minions left. There's just a ton of traps through here. There's a bunch of, you know, spring traps over there. And we didn't need to use any of the minions. We just used three to trigger those traps down there. And we had 16 seconds left in the attack. It actually, normally it goes faster. Normally there's about 30 seconds left. Maybe triggering the king threw it all off. But there you go. I submit to you the easiest internet, the easiest tutorial that you will find on the internet. Uh, and I will, of course, leave you with information. I did start a solo Clash podcast. I wind up talking each episode. They're about 30 minutes long. Each episode will talk a little bit about some fun topic, some math-related topic, because I'm a math guy. I'm, one of my degrees is in math. And then uh, I answer just random questions from the audience, uh, some, some of whom are my fans, some of whom are people who randomly found me on the internet. But if you want to post any questions for me, just check out my Discord server. There is a channel in there for the questions for the podcast, and I wind up answering a couple of those on each episode. You can find it on Spotify. Spotify. It is Inside Clash with Trample Damage. In the meantime, hope you guys got this video. Again, comment down below. Let me know if you found an easier method for defeating this, because I really don't think that there's going to be one. Trample Damage, thanking you so much for the time, and we will catch you on the next video.